Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of What is in Our Stand today. That is a hashtag you can follow, hashtag what is in our stand today. As you saw from the title, I'm going to show you what a worn cassette looks like. And uh, just recently, I did another video on worn chain rings and worn pulleys. So I'll, I'll link that description down below. Before we get started, if you would please subscribe to the channel. Today is September the 16th, and we are up to 530 subscribers, and I'm over the moon. I thank each and every one of you who has subscribed to the channel, and I appreciate uh, those of you who have subscribed, view my videos, and possibly have shared it with a friend. Um, so the elephant in the room, I've got multiple tan lines um, on my arms and actually my legs too, but you can't see those. But uh, you know, it's part of riding in sunny weather for six, seven, eight hours um, at a time. Okay. So let's get going on the topic of today. Chain rings, cassettes, those kinds of things wear um, irregularly when your chain is worn and hasn't been replaced. So what ends up happening is, and I'll show you on the cassette itself, the chain no longer falls in the valley precisely where it's supposed to fall. It starts to fall on the teeth itself and then starts to sharpen the teeth and the flat tops that are typical of a brand new cassette, they're gone. Chain ring, same thing. The flat tops um, are gone. And so this can cause a pretty significant problem if you um, change the chain, but you still have worn components such as the cassette and the chain rings you get up out of the saddle to sprint or something like that and the chain will fall off or much worse you'll fall off of the bike um i've i've tested bikes in a parking lot knowing that that's going to happen and i still um have to really really pay attention not to uh not to go down so all right so let's take a look at what a worn chain does to a cassette on the left is a worn cassette that I've removed from a customer's wheel. I've cleaned it up so that it is much easier to show you things on it. Now, um, obviously, since it's going in the trash, um, I would not have cleaned the cassette otherwise. But for illustrative purposes, I want to show you some things on this cassette. Now I'm going to prop it up here, so ignore the noise behind there. But one thing you'll start to see is there should be different profiling for each of the teeth. That's normal. But at a certain point when the chain has worn into this so badly, um, you know, it's almost like the the tooth is actually gone. So this obviously is a climbing cog. This is an 1146 cassette. And here you can see the same thing on these teeth. Um, they're just, they're worn very irregular now because the chain, instead of falling directly here in this, in this trough, in this valley between the two teeth, it's now falling on the sides of the teeth and you can see how sharp this guy is and some of these others so it's it's really vital to change your chain frequently you know in some bike shops maybe there's some nefarious thing where you know the store manager or sales manager has said hey you need to increase sales in the service department look at this this tooth is actually gone so it's, it's broken completely off. Um, so this will cause a lot of shifting issues. So going back to what I was saying, so it's possible that, you know, in some shops they're like, hey, every bike that comes in here gets a new chain. Um, you know, the 
the silver lining in that is your shifting is always precise. The possibility of maybe something nefarious where they are just selling everyone a chain. Um, maybe that's not ethical, but I don't think that happens too often. Now, based on some feedback I got from a previous video, I wanted to show you back to back with a new or side by side or on top of each other, the new cassette and the old cassette. So this is basically the same part of that same cassette. And you can notice here how much more square this top is. Look at this next tooth here, right? And you can start to see, look how, how much of a flat top that has and the machining that's on there compared to what's left. Actually, this is kind of touring. Now, both of these are Shimano XT. They are both 1146 cassettes. So the teeth profiling is the same. Um, should be the same, except for, you know, for example, the one tooth that's broken. Apologize for that falling. We'll get that propped back up again. And so when you have these directly in front of each other, you can see the difference of pointy teeth there and flat top teeth here. Now, that is going to impact your shifting significantly. And one of the things the customer came in uh, was for poor shifting performance. And it turns out that not only is his cassette worn, but so was his chain. And now you can see the difference between the exact same spot. If you follow that rivet, and then follow that rivet here. And you can just see how the teeth are just so, so worn down and the flat tops are gone. The valleys have elongated and there you go. So this is very important that when you replace your chain, which should be done often, that you, you take the time to inspect your cassette and or your chain rings and make sure that you are getting optimal shifting performance by replacing everything that's worn at one time. Uh, because, you know, a worn chain and a worn cassette seem to shift okay, but then if you replace just the chain and keep the worn cassette or keep just the worn um, chain rings, you are going to not have optimal shifting performance. Okay, that's all for today. I do appreciate um, if you like the video, if, if you found some value in this video, please like, please subscribe. And also, if you get a moment, uh, share it with your friends and say, oh, hey, you know that shifting problem you had? As a matter of fact, um, on my Tuesday ride, uh, one, of the, one of the gentlemen that I ride with, I asked him, hey, where's the rest of your crew? And he was kind of going down the list. This person is here. This person is there. And then this other person uh, dropped his chain. And it's the second time he's dropped his chain. And so I started asking, well, what, what were the circumstances? So, well, he, he was just making a, a left turn out of a traffic signal and he dropped his chain. And I said, well, which, which, uh, in which direction? Did it drop to the inside, to the frame? or up over the top, was he shifting? And he says, no, it dropped between the small chain ring, this uh, road bike we're talking about, small chain ring and into the frame. And I said, hmm. And he said, well, I ride SRAM and that gentleman rides Shimano. And I was looking at the teeth and they looked fine. I mean, I, I think that they're supposed to have square tops. And I said, oh yes, definitely. He says, oh, okay, well, um, that's probably the problem. I said, well, have him come see me because, oh, and then the other part of the troubleshooting was, he said, oh, but he just replaced the chain. So uh, his, his drivetrain should be good. And I'm like, well, not if his chain rings are worn. And um, gentleman's a heavier rider, probably about 190-ish. 
and um, and so uh, worn inner chain ring, brand new chain. Yeah, it's gonna slip and it's probably gonna fall off. So anyway, that's that. Thank you so much for listening and watching. And please share with your friends. And in the meantime, we will see you up the road.